Welcome back. Today's video is going to be about the progress I'm making on the uh, snow engine. Now, uh, I spent a few days uh, getting it lined up. The barrels are now painted up. Uh, the pipes have been sent away for um, plating. And it took a few days to get everything straight and aligned, but the lip seals are now installed and the piston rings are now inside there and it turns over quite nicely. Uh, still a little bit tight but not that tight that it's not going to turn over. So everything's lined up very nicely. Now what's left to do on this engine is we've obviously got uh, the water pump to install. So this is going to be a closed loop system. So the water is going to go in and then be pumped out. And this is going to sit inside this. And the water is going to come in go down through the engine into these pipes it will be recirculated around the bar barrel and then come out of here and then we'd be pumped back up into this so that's a simple cheap pump probably for a, a garden sort of fountain uh, which will run off 12 volts so that'll be that bit to fit. Uh, more importantly, to get the actual engine running um, is the electronics for it. So what we have here is a little distributor, dizzy cap as they call them. And you can see how small these are. There's gonna be an aluminium running off the crankshaft uh, with four magnets in it and a whole sensor put in there. That's the theory. Uh, this kit came from Dan Williams. He's in uh, Liverpool, but he's in Liverpool but not the UK, Liverpool, New York. I think he has a website for this as well. Uh, he's a very helpful chap. He also supplies the lip seals with this kit and sort of HT leads. They're all gonna be coming across here. So that's all gotta be done. And really, Everything's made for this. Um, there's one final little modification. This came from Joe Higgins, or an idea of Joe Higgins. If you've not seen his channel, he's well worth a look. Um, what he did was he got these filters, which are injection, fuel injection filters. And you see that. And um, I've just put them in there and use an old steam fitting um, to then clamp it onto there or screw it on I should say. So that's a, a wee mod that's been done. Um, I've also just raised this up as well. Um, I've come away from the design a little bit because one, I probably have got to move this somewhere. I don't want petrol sloshing about. I'd rather have it in a bag. Or the smell of it anyway. So this is going to sit there. Which I'll show you from the other side. So that will sit there. Nice and level. Um... The dizzy cap, which I mentioned earlier, is going to actually fit into there. So 
So, and these are the bits that are yet to be fixed to it. These are the inlet cages, carburetor that you saw last time. And this is going to be the spark plug tester, which is just a bit of threaded angle. So when I'm setting it up, I can see uh, the spark plugs firing. And that's about it really. So we're getting pretty close to hopefully getting this little beastie working. I did notice on the flywheel, this flywheel was a compromise at best because it's the only one that I could find. And in America, they have a range of sort of nine down to seven inch. In the UK, we seem to only have maximum seven inches and then very, very big flywheels. Now, when I machine this flywheel, I did it on the face plate and well, it wobbles a bit. It's not up to, uh, hopefully, my standard. Uh, now, I'm going to run with it, and when the model exhibition uh, comes along in Warwick in October, I'm going to see if I can hunt down an 8.5 inch by around about 1.2 inches wide flywheel, um, because I could machine that a lot easier on the MyFood. But there we have it, the progress so far. Bit of painting and I can see the light at the end of the tunnel now particularly now the piston rings are in and the lip seals are in uh, the main mechanics of it are working and it's just a matter of bringing it all together so that's where we're at with it uh, I counted up the hours um, no the months uh, I'm just rolling into the ninth month of building this. Uh, don't underestimate if you're building it, the time it takes. But uh, stay tuned, more to come. Hopefully, it'll be running when you tune in next time. Thanks for watching.